I gotta say that was my very first time hearing Dochi rap. Not a whole song. I've only heard clips from her. I've heard her rap before, but it was only clips. That's my first time ever hearing an entire Dochi pro project, much less an entire Dochi song. And I have to say, I'm impressed. I like this. I really like this. I thought the album had great pacing. I thought there were really good songs in the album. For me, the album picked up in a great way around track number seven. Seven, eight, and nine are in 10. Let me hear 10 again. Let me see what this sounds like. Just so I can refresh. Make it work. Yeah, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is the highlight of the album for me. There was something that happened between track number 12, Boom Bap, and track number 19, Alligator Bites Never Heal. Some of these songs just seem like afterthoughts in comparison to the entire album as a whole. Certainly not the title track. That sounds fine in there. Firefly sounds fine. But like the rest of them, huh? Slide. Slide was cool, but it just doesn't fit on this album. It doesn't all the way feel right with some of these songs after track number 12. And then following Boom Bap, we have these two more modern songs, which doesn't really match everything else on the album, especially following Hide and Seek, Bloom and Wait, which are much more laid back. Um, are these more, are these the songs the label made her add? Did the album, was it supposed to end at profit? And then she had to add these two, so she put in Boom Bap as well to kind of inform her fans or inform the listener. Like, yo, they had an issue with everything else I was recording, so boom, here's some modern shit for y'all. Modern sounding shit for y'all. Again, I could be wrong, bro. What do I do? I, I'm just a nigga on YouTube, bro. These are the best songs on the album. It doesn't mean that tracks before it weren't as good, but you know, these are the songs right here, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Like I said, during the actual reaction, Boom Bap seems like a shot. Like on this album, Dochi mentions her label, not liking her music or telling her to change it up at least three times. She mentions it explicitly twice. Then on Boom Bap, she calls out top, get top on the phone, get top on the phone. Obviously that's an ode to a Kendrick Lamar lyric. Get top on the phone, said it won't be long, but she's not using it, it appears as a shout out. It seems like, especially following these other songs, that Top Dog or someone at the label has an issue with how her songs sound and they want her to change it up to sound more modern. And her, like you listen to the early album, I said this in my full song by song reaction. These songs have boom bap, like they have boom bap influences. The drums are forward, which is not common in nowadays rap. Nowadays rap, the bass is forward. And then you might have some hi-hats, some sped up hi-hats and like the drill scene or in the trap scene. But her music is not like that, especially tracks one through four. So it sounds like someone had an issue with that. So she recorded the song Boom Bap to be like satirical um, and kind of mocking the people who don't like her music. And on this song, she says, yo, top, get top on the phone, get top on the phone. She harmonizes it. She says it at least five, six, seven, eight times. So to me, it, it almost feels like Profit was supposed to be the outro. Thank you, Mike. Not no politician, I can't be shaking them hands. It sounds like Profit was supposed to be the outro, but the label critiqued the album so much to where she added these more upbeat, bass-heavy songs. No other songs on the album sounds like these two. Nissan Altima and get the fuck out. And they come after the satirical boom bap trap uh, track where she's kind of making a mockery of boom bap, like the lyrical miracle rap, which I don't think she has an issue with it. I think she's mocking it as a response to what people are saying about her. Like well, as a response to what people are saying about her sound. Like, oh, you want boom bap? Okay, here's some, you know what I mean? Kind of like a defense mechanism in a way. So to me, and I could be wrong, maybe if Dolce, if you're watching, which I'm sure you're not, maybe you could clarify. To me, it sounds like Profit was supposed to be the outro. The label took issues with how her album sounded, which she says multiple times throughout this project. So she creates these two songs, um, Nissan Ultima and GTFO, and then she puts them behind, she, she puts them in front of the song Boom Bap. To kind of let fans know, like, okay, these two songs, they're a product of what the label wanted me to do. They're a product of what the label, 
they're a product of the label's response to what the initial album sounded like. Again, I again, what do I know? I'm just a nigga on the internet. I've heard hundreds, hundreds, probably a thousand albums at this point. I don't know Dochi's music like that. I could be completely wrong, bro. But to me, that's just what it sounds like. But nonetheless, I did enjoy those songs, Nissan Ultima, GTFO. Boom Bap, I really didn't enjoy that. But I don't think, again, I don't think Boom Bap is there for us to enjoy. It seems more like Dochi's commentary on her label's critique of the album. That's just how I take it. It's not like a serious song. I think Boom Bap is there so she can speak to her fans without explicitly telling her fans why she put that song there and then put these songs here. Again, I could be wrong, but overall, I thought this was a great album, man. My favorite songs were Hide and Seek, Bloom, Wait, and Death Roll. This is like a great moment on the album. And that was my very first time hearing Dochi rap a full song. I liked it a lot. I've had my critiques of TDE in the past. You can go watch my downfall of TDE video. You can go watch my is TDE being mismanaged videos. Uh, but I thought this was a great, great album. Really good album. If I had to rate this out of five stars, y'all know I don't like rating albums on the first listen. But I give this album a good four stars, which is excellent. Four out of five. It can go up, it can go down. This is my first listen, but I this is a really good album, in my opinion. So those are my thoughts. What do y'all think? Am I completely wrong? Am I off the mark? Am I missing something here? Because I haven't heard Dochi's other music. Let me know in the comments. And be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. This is top5rapwebsite.com. Peace.